How's it going YouTube? Hedges is here. Back to another One Piece opening video and PSA review. So we have the uh, premium card collection. This is the Bandai Card Fest, the uh, 2324 edition. Uh, I believe this has like 12 cards in it that were reprints that were, uh, they're essentially alt arts. So we're going to check that out. And then we have a submission back from PSA. I think it's uh, a lot of OPO7 um, should be in that. So let's go ahead and open this up. Um, I think there's a booklet in here and then like 12 cards. Seems like a lot of cardboard just for that. But, um, so I guess, okay. You get this. Try not to knock over the camera. So you get this pretty cool booklet. And then, wow, all of them right in there, huh? Okay, you got the... Uh, Six Drop Luffy, uh, Izo, Jimbe, very cool. Uh, is there a way to, I mean, um, I guess I could just take these. Um, Black Mariah from Starter Deco 4. Obviously the one from OP08 will be really popular. Got the Sanji, Tashigi. Not really a lot of, uh, I mean, I don't, I can't see is anything in this really playable? I guess the Shirahoshi is still somewhat played. Um, not really sure about much else, but so that's that. I'll, uh, I don't know if I'll be getting those graded or anything. I might just keep it like that in the booklet. I have three other sets of that. I ordered several sets just cause I figured, oh man, I'll probably be grading a lot, but I don't know. I'm kind of may step back quite a bit with grading. Um, I say that, but <laughs> probably not going to happen um i was just enjoying putting sets together but man does it take up a lot of room it really does uh so we got should be op07 with a couple other things in here um so we'll have to scan these into the psa registry first we have porsche or porsche i don't know how uh from yeah this is op07 stuff psa 10 very nice love the art on that we ended up pulling two of these sengokus i believe so there's one gets the 10 then we have lilith another 10. now i only opened up one case of op07 and maybe a i think like two loose boxes i bought on my lcs i thought about buying another case while they're somewhat around msrp um i did get the boa manga manga whatever uh the boa manga so um is what it is i don't i don't know if i did buy another case it'd probably be just to hold it so we got law which law is one of my favorite characters I, i'm at i'm in land of wano like 960 episode around and uh i wish he'd show up more hopefully he does um frankie sorry spoilers very cool card that's a sick card um another psa 10 that we got slow slow beam foxy i like foxy i like the fact that he's got the boxing gloves on that's kind of cool too um but and then this card this one is interesting to me because this is playable and just about every green deck this card is awesome and but like the super rare and the alt art just they're not as that expensive it's really weird maybe they just overproduced op07 so we got two of those basil hawkins so i'll be putting one of those on ebay then we got stussy another 10 and another stussy so that'll probably go out i usually put my uh extras up on ebay we got julie boney I think the only leader I didn't pull was Rob Lucci, I want to say. So that's cool. And then we got Foxy. Slow, slow beam. Another 10. And Monkey D. Dragon. Which I don't even know if anybody plays this guy. But once per turn, give up two total of your currently given Dawn cards to one of your characters. It's actually kind of good. I mean, I don't know. That's pretty cool. And this one's nice. Boa Hancock, PSA 10. I don't think anybody really plays this leader much, but still cool. 
That's a nice card. Maybe if she was blue black. One of the only last cards I was missing from OPO4, um, Luffy got the 10. That's very nice. The one I pulled from my case got a 9. I think the centering was off, but um, glad to finish that one. I think the last card I need is Sabo, um, which unfortunately I bought one at CollectorCon and stupidly didn't see an edge mark. So to kind of explain what this guy did to me, and this is such a rookie mistake on my account. I don't know how I missed this. Just stupid. I was talking. The guy had the card in a sleeve. And then this over it on the back of the card. So, actually, this is a better example. So, we have this card. He had that right there. And then, so I was looking at the card. Okay, cool. Da, 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 turn it around. Looked at, oh, the edge looks good. I didn't take this off and this was kind of covering and I get it home and I turn it off and it's got like an edge mark right there I was so upset I was like that guy knew that that was there and I wish I would have got his name or something and just shame the dude but it was my own fault for not checking I mean it is what it is but then we got a fortunate one here dang Charlotte Katakuri PSA 9 this is one I took a chance I bought it on TCG player because it was after nobody was really playing Katakuri for a while there, and they went down like $100 a piece. So I'm sure it just, I don't know what was wrong with this, but it looked good to me. Maybe the centering on the front, is it thicker there or something? I don't know, but unfortunately there. And then another one is the Charlotte Katakuri. I cannot seem to get Charlotte Katakuri's in tens. Got Charlotte Katakuri from uh, OPO3, Alt Art. So both of those were a massive bust, um, unfortunately. At least we got the Luffy as a 10. So we got one more um, box here. Should be more OPO7 items. I think it's all OPO7, which, you know, PSA was running a $13.99 per TCG special i think it ends at the end of august i think they're gonna run that again they've been running that for like the last few months and then they send it out an email telling everybody it's going away and then they do it again vega punk very cool two life okay sengoku here's another one psa 10 very nice put that over there then we've got one of the treasure rares of uh trafalgar law I pulled one in my case and did I pull a second one in the case or one in the other loose boxes? I cannot remember, but either way, it's a PSA 10 and then a second one. We got the 10 for that one as well. Very sick. Then we got, man, I pulled like, I think I pulled two of this. Isho SP, not the one I wanted. Hanami would have been the best. Um, so I got a 10 of that and then I was happy to pull this one one of my favorite characters use this kid um, I think most people that watch the manga or read the manga watch the anime know what that scenes from so another 10 super happy about this uh, this is a regionals kid um, from one of the online tournaments that I uh, participated in very nice I just uh, did two other events a little while ago and all I got was like six packs of OPO6 like you're supposed to get six packs of cards of course they would give OPO6 OPO6 is not worth anything and then they give you this Dawn and that's it and I'm like so what happened to all the regional cards kind of blows this is a nice one I actually I'm surprised this actually got through to be honest I thought they'd upcharge me for this but PSA magazine exclusive. If you haven't read the magazine, there's an article uh, on my collection in there. Pretty cool. They interviewed me, so go out there and read that if you can. That was very cool. Then we got Ace, PSA 10. Very nice, sick art. Absolutely sick art. Then we got another Ace. I think I pulled two in one case and one of the secret alt arts in, um, in the loose boxes. Maybe I opened up four. I'll bet it was a case in four boxes. So one of those will go out on eBay. Then we got the regular secret, which I love this card. I'm thinking about playing Katakuri again, and I might add this to the deck. I know a lot of people run the two big moms, but 
I feel like having that rush with a 10k is like just really sick. So I might I might try to do that, see how it works out. Then we got another one, which that one will be out on eBay. We got the Sabo Secret Alternate Art. Sick, sick right there. Well you have like there's the two brothers. Essentially kind of the the same art. Um same kind of style. Just looks really good. I like that. That's sick. And then Sabo Secret. Very cool. Fire Fist Ace and they don't call Sabo Fire Fist, do they? I don't know. Uh, then Sabo Secret. That'll be out there. Then we got Boa. Another PSA 10. I love how they do this. The The heart is hologram. Like, I don't know if you can see that, but it's like, yeah, you can kind of see how it's like all the heart from her love, love beam or whatever it was she had. That's sick. PSA 10. Then we got another one. It's going to be a PSA 10. Boa, obviously. Waifu, very popular. Then Jewelry Bonnie. PSA 10. Nice one there. And then we got Monkey to Dragon, who had an alt art, and he gets a leader alt art in this set, so that's kind of cool. Gets Rush. Very nice. So, and then the last one is Karina. So I think I'm only missing a couple from OPO7. I'd have to look and see which ones I need, but I need to need to scan these in in the PSA registry. I wish PSA would have a thing where they just automatically scan them all in for you, but I'm actually kind of glad they don't because I say that, but then I'm thinking about it. Um, if you if someone has a card in the PSA set registry and you start to scan it in, say you I say someone buys a card for me that I have in the PSA set registry. They actually have to submit a request to assign that cert number to them. It's kind of a pain in the butt. I've actually done that. Um, so I guess it is kind of nice that they don't do that. But, you know, it is what it is. But Because if, you know, all these would be assigned to my PSA set registry. And then when I sell them, if people want to, you know, assign them to their registry, they'd have to go in there and, like, you know, each one. But like you make this request and then if a month goes by and nobody says anything they just automatically put it in your account so um these i might just crack and uh play with or something i don't know I, i'm starting to play katakuri again so i wonder why those got it's kind of annoying like what could have possibly have got that make sure you check the backs of all your cards i have had um an issue where one of my cards had a little piece of paper inside had to send it in to get relabeled that kind of sucks so anyway that's the latest psa submission i'm gonna call that like eh. all right we can't call it a perfect submission but all the opo7 stuff was it perfect but unfortunately we had these two that got psa9 so technically it's not a perfect submission but as far as opo7 is concerned that was perfect so I'm pretty happy about that um other than that what's coming up next um i have a couple more orders at psa um i did a lot of the uh a lot of ebo1 um i think some of ebo1 is in there and then a bunch of like pre errata and i'm still been grading all of the uh super pre-release uh first edition cards so some of those coming back um, and then outside that, OPO 8 is coming out in a couple weeks. I think September 13th. And I do have a bunch of treasure boxes coming in from Walmart tomorrow. If you don't know, you can go out to Walmart. Uh, they're like $21.98 a box or something like that. You can order up to 12 Don't waste time going around all the Walmarts unless you have to go there for something else. Um, it's just easier to order them online. So anyway, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe if you have it. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.